What are you fucking nuts? <laughs> you thought? <laughs> you just, just, uh, oh. Hello everyone, welcome to Pumpkin Horror. Now today we're going to be touching base on some of my horror and my Halloween type mugs. That's coffee mugs, okay? Because I've been watching some videos on YouTube uh, based on Halloween haunts and trails and stuff like that. And it got me inspired. So I decided to go ahead and do something based on the uh, mugs, which is kind of Halloween and horror related. So what we're going to do is we're going to kind of go over the mugs that I've collected over the last couple of years. I only have about five right now, uh, but some of them are pretty cool, okay, as you can see right now. Uh, the Chucky one, what I will do, I, I will shut this uh, turntable down each and every time and show you what it looks like inside, you know, and all around the mug and stuff. So with this in mind, I'm going to hold this back a bit so we can actually look at the mug up close. And I'm going to, now I'm just going to leave that running and just show you what the mug looks like and then just switch them out, okay? Now obviously that's a Chucky mug, okay? These are very cool. I get these at Walmart. Now, up in size says Chucky. Now, I got two Mezco figure type uh, dolls. Uh, they're the small ones. They're about 15 inches tall. And they make sound effects. Those are pretty cool. Okay, I got to admit that. And the bottom of the mug, as you can see. All right. Yeah. This one's from Child's Play 2. Okay. All right. You got the front of it. Okay, now I'm going to turn it around here. And friends till the end. Okay, and obviously inside you've seen the Chucky thing. I don't use these per se for drinking. I did a couple of these mugs, but I've since stopped doing it. And I just stick with my traditional mug that I have. Okay, so we're moving on to the next horror mug, which is in fact the It based on the 2017 movie. Okay, and obviously there's another one that came out of. 2018 I think it was a 2019 but they're coming out with a prequel type one uh, I think it says welcome to dairy uh, that won't have Bill, a Bill Skarsgård in it at all so I'm not sure how they're going to handle that but it's basically a prequel so that should be coming out pretty soon once we get past the actual uh, uh, script writers and actors uh, strike why they're doing this I don't know uh, probably because they want more money okay greedy bastards but anyway um long story short we gotta wait for all that stuff to happen then we're gonna see what happens with the movies in itself okay but anyway let's take a look at this bad boy right here okay so it says we all float down here all right let me pull that back a bit it's actually pretty cool looking. Again, I got this one from Walmart. Okay. And that's the inside of the mug. And I'm not sure if there's any writing in this one. Never looked. Nope. This one's completely red inside. Very similar to the Chucky one, except it don't have the writing inside. And that's the back of the mug. Okay. As you can see, a little image of um, Pennywise. Now, I will say this about the, uh, the two different movies in themselves. I prefer the horror based one with uh, Bill Skarsgård, the newer one. Uh, obviously the special effects and everything are really good in those movies. The one with Tim Curry, while he's a fantastic actor and stuff, he did a great job. To me it was just a little too comical and it came out in the 90's and obviously the special effects were not all that good at the time. Uh, so it has its flaws but it was based on a miniseries as well. It's not an actual movie. Alright, but that is my um, it mug okay and now you can get these at spirit halloween and stuff too as well but i got these from walmart right. now this one here is actually halloween based all right now i got that I'm not sure where we got that from i think we came across it somewhere and just end up buying it because collecting uh, anything horror and halloween halloween related and that's pretty much what i did I never used this mug, so just like the other two mugs, I never used them for any kind of drinks. Okay, so looking inside, it's obviously white. 
okay? And on the bottom it has absolutely no writing at all. It's a plain simple mug with a pumpkin. Okay, and I think it's cool because of the color scheme and everything. Very Halloween related, okay? Enough about that one. Now, let's get into this one here. This was one of the first ones that I got. Again, I think I got that from Walmart, or it could have been a different store, but it was years ago when I got this. I used to drink from this one, okay? But anyway, it's got a very cool aesthetic to it. Haunted house. Uh, the color scheme is obviously black and white, and it really stands out. So let's go ahead and take a look at this thing up close and personal. All right. On the bottom, it's got some writing. Okay. All right. The inside of the mug, obviously, is clear. But this is the same thing on the opposite side. Let me get my hands out of the way. All right. Now this is the one I used to use on a regular basis, especially during Halloween. All right. Now, the last one we're going to show you will be this bad boy here. Obviously, it's got Halloween colors to it. Okay, orange and black, you can't go wrong. Then there's lime green and purple. They are very cool. If you take all four of those colors and light them up on a black Christmas tree, I mean, it's fantastic looking. I still have my black pencil Christmas tree that I use for the Halloween, but I since took it down because I end up getting another one, which is um, which is orange, and it has 250 lights on it. Fantastic looking tree, except the top half of the lights went out, and that's because the flash on the very top is burned out. I just got to replace them, and it should work fine. But anyway, I've always wanted an orange uh, Halloween tree because it really looks good, especially when you put black ornaments on it. But anyway, let's look at this bad boy up close. Okay. Pumpkins. Not sure where I got this from. Okay. very Halloween-y black inside and on the bottom orange and it says spectrum so all right and those are my coffee mugs guys I'm gonna end it here real sweet and short okay you see my mugs uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell because I will be pushing out some more videos based on horror as well as Halloween because it's getting close to that time of the year uh, as we roll into August uh, Spirit Halloween and other stores will start loading up pretty soon at homes has already got stuff and I believe Michaels has already got stuff uh, for fall not so much for Halloween until they get closer to the holidays but everything's starting to show itself once we get closer to uh, August you'll start seeing a lot of that going on and that also depends on your area in my area sorry about that um, it has a tendency to show up around August. Some areas people are posting already on Facebook. Oh, this place has got this and that and this and that. I was like, my place don't got that yet. <laughs> but anyway, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys at the next video. You have yourselves a good night.